Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my wardrobe switchover vlog. So I film one of these twice a year, every time I switch over my wardrobe. This time it's from spring, summer and I'm switching it to autumn, winter. I know you guys love these videos and I love filming them so I thought I'd dedicate a whole vlog to today so I can show you guys the process. I normally film this a little bit earlier in the year. I film my spring summer switchover usually in kind of mid April and this one I normally do kind of mid to late September. There are two reasons why I haven't done it already. The first one is because I went on a like summer kind of hot holiday recently and I didn't want to pack away all my summer clothes until I got back from that. And the second reason, it has been so damn hot here in the UK. It's very, very strange. At the weekend, we were sunbathing in the garden. It was like 25 degrees. So it's a bit strange to have this hot weather in October when I was kind of ready for knitwear and coats, but it's meant that I have delayed this wardrobe switch over a little bit and I've got a little bit more wear out of my spring summer clothes which is quite nice but having said that I am absolutely 100% ready to get this wardrobe switched over to have a nice big clear out I have so much stuff accumulating because I've started to buy autumn winter pieces and I've still got all my spring summer stuff out so it's kind of like all spring summer wardrobe with quite a lot of autumn winter pieces in it at the moment as well because I don't pack absolutely everything away like I still keep some knitwear pieces out that I think I might need either early spring or late summer. I'm actually a lot later in the day starting this filming than I'd hoped it's actually 20 past 11 and I don't know how it got so late I was ready to film this a couple of hours ago, but I had quite a lot of like admin bits to do. Emails kept popping up. I've been on the phone to EE for like the last 20 minutes. Well, I haven't actually been on the phone to them. I've been on hold trying to speak to someone about upgrading my phone because I had a text message from them saying, your contract runs out whenever it runs out. Um, if you don't upgrade, your monthly payment price will increase by 20 pound. But I'm not having that. So I've been trying to get hold of them to sort it out. Tried to do it online, can't do it online. So I was on hold for 20 minutes and I thought I haven't really got time to continue being on hold. So I thought I'll just have to phone them later and get on with filming this video first. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys kind of my wardrobe situation first if you haven't seen one of these videos of mine before and then I'll talk you through the process of how I do it but firstly you have to see this outfit because I'm obsessed with it you guys know that I love 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 my loungewear I have such a big loungewear collection I have a whole chest of drawers dedicated to it and this set is my new favorite absolutely love it it's a beautiful like camel color obviously a hoodie on the top here I've tucked it in because it's quite long and then like a knitted pair of trousers to match again in the same color and I'm obsessed with this it's from fourth and reckless it's from their new Sunday Club collection which is gorgeous so many nice pieces there so I'll leave it linked down below hopefully it's still available I know their stuff always sells out so far so I really hope that it's still in stock when this video goes up, but I'm obsessed with it Obviously got my Ugg slippers on which my goodness don't they look tired they have definitely seen better days i think a new pair of these is going on my christmas list i didn't get a new pair last year so these are like two years old and considering i wear them every day i'm surprised they haven't fallen apart yet so we've got a little helper here little miss marple on my bed you are going to actually have to move when i start getting stuff out of the wardrobe because i lay everything on the bed this is my wardrobe situation pretty full as you can see and i've only got one top hanger left which is worrying so clothes all along the top here i do each section in light to dark so we have like dresses jumpsuits all that kind of stuff shirts this is the knitwear that i kept out and that i've added to uh, we've got trousers in the middle there and then if we open up this side continuation of trousers jackets and blazers and then coats as well and down below here we have shoes as well which we'll definitely need to have a sort through because i've got a lot of pairs of sandals so that i don't think i will be wearing again so this is the wardrobe situation as you can see it's quite a big wardrobe i know i have a lot of clothes but it is quite a big wardrobe it's bespoke it's built into the wall because my bedroom is in the loft of the house so the ceilings as you can see are slanted so I couldn't have like a full length wardrobe so a lot of my coats and stuff do drag across here which is severely annoying but 
nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. Over here, we have another chest of drawers. I don't have too many clothes in here. It's kind of full of everything. This drawer is tops and t-shirts, which actually I only sorted through not that long ago, and it's looking quite organized. There's quite a lot of space in here if I am to buy more. So these are kind of like thin tops, like I said, t-shirts vests, thermals, bodysuits, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna leave this drawer as it is. And then this bottom drawer here is denim. I actually sorted through this at the same time as I sorted through this, but this has not stayed as nice and neat. So I'll probably need to go through this again, just see if there's anything here that I want to get rid of or pack away, because I have like shorts and stuff in here. But I've actually worn these shorts recently because it's been so warm. I had them on the other day in the garden. This chest of drawers is not really clothes. It's just kind of a mixture of everything. So I'll leave that as it is. And then this one over here is the one that's dedicated to loungewear. So we have like a mix of like jumpers and loungewear sets. At the top here, we have uh, jogger sets in here and hoodies. And then I think the same, oops. Oh God, it's overflowing, isn't it? And then the same in this one. Definitely needs a little sort out and these items need refolding. So all my winter stuff is folded and packed away in part of the eaves or part of the loft. I pack it all in vacuum bags and then put it in clear plastic boxes. You'll be able to see when I get it all out in a second. So it's basically just a case of getting everything out deciding what I have out now that I need to pack away and then doing the switcheroo. In the process of doing that, I'm gonna go through absolutely everything and see if there's anything that I want to donate or put on Vinted or if anything is like not good enough to sell and I can donate it to like a textiles charity or something like that. So that is the plan. I'm gonna start with getting the boxes out from the loft and then I'm going to empty what is in the wardrobe, like completely empty it so I can see exactly what I've got, exactly what needs to be packed away and then that'll make it a lot easier for me to get to the shoes in there as well. So these are the three plastic boxes that I have. As you can see in this one here, it's mostly just shoes and boots and stuff. And then in these two, it's the vacuum bags full of like knitwear and coats. And if you wait and see how many coats and big chunky knits are in these boxes, you would not believe how much they shrink down when they're put in these vacuum bags. They're honestly the best invention if you're short on space. So I'm gonna leave these kind of as they are at the minute and I'm gonna go through the wardrobe first and like I said, just get everything out and just double check firstly whether I want to keep it or not and secondly, whether it's gonna be spring, summer or autumn, winter. So this is the Everest that I'm currently dealing with. Everything out the wardrobe, the stuff here on the ottoman that Maple's looking after is all to be packed away. So I've obviously taken it off the hangers and folded it. I had quite a bit that I just like left out of the wardrobe for my holiday that I didn't bother ironing or anything. I just fold it and then when I get it back out next year, I'll deal with the fact that it's all creased them because it's gonna get creased in the vacuum bags anyway. And I have basically four piles on the bed here. We have trousers and skirts, coats and jackets, uh, dresses, shirts and top and knitwear over here so i'm gonna leave this as it is and i'm gonna go through the shoes first and again just do the same thing take out anything that i don't think that i will be wearing like flip-flop sandals that kind of stuff and pop it in a pile so i'm on the floor time to go through shoes now there are a few pairs of trainers here which i'm just gonna leave and my converse and my burks because obviously need them. These sandals from Nomadic State of Mind, which I've just got in a Zara dust bag, they will be packed away. Where should I put them, Maple? I'm just going to put them where you're standing, but I can't do that. Oh, they moved. I've got two pairs of Primark flip-flops, so I'm going to leave out the old pair and pack away the new pair so that I've got them for next year. Dad sandals, I think I'll pack them away because if I did want to wear a pair of chunky sh sandals, sandals then I'll probably just wear my shy poo ones which I keep in the box over there anyway 
these sandals are by battered sheen ones which are like chanel dupes but because i have these ones from aloha's we'll see if they can go in that pile another pair of primark flip-flops which actually i hardly wore but these are so comfy got my ballet flats obviously i have my new prada ones but i really like the beige detail on these ones so i'm going to keep them out as well i have like chunky flip-flops from zara you may think i'm crazy for keeping out a pair of flip-flops but i was wearing these literally in the garden on saturday because it was so hot and i was cleaning my car and they were just really good for that because when i clean my car that i either wear wellies or flip-flops and it was too hot for wellies so i'm going to leave them out just in case i've got my veg trainers here which i haven't worn as much as i normally do and then here I have two pairs of knee-high boots. I have the classic black Zara ones. I have these cream ones from Stradivarius, which are old, but there are some similar ones, I think, on Mango. And they're in this huge, giant dust bag. I don't know where... Well, I know where it came from, but I don't know what boots from Zara I bought with this giant dust bag. So they're going in the corner there. And I also have a couple of other pairs of boots, which I've still got in boxes which I'd like to actually see if I can get in the wardrobe because they're just taking up too much space elsewhere. So the first pair of other boots that I have are these knee-high ones, which I got from Zara, and I actually got them quite late in the spring last year. So I didn't really get much chance to wear them, and I was debating whether to keep them or not because they were quite expensive. I think they were around £100. They're just a very classic sort of shape and style. But I didn't have any flat knee-high boots, so I decided to keep them and I'm so glad I did because I just know this season I'm going to get so much wear out of them even though I didn't get to wear them much last season. So I'm going to try and squeeze these in at the back here as well. And then I also have another pair of knee highs and these are a beautiful pair from Bobbies. Um, again, I didn't get to wear these much because I feel like they're quite a special style boot. I wore them on Christmas Day and I wore them for my birthday meal with a really nice like cream jacket and skirt two-piece. And they're really comfy because again, they have this block heel and they're just a beautiful color. I believe they're still online on the Bobby's website. So I will link them down below if I remember. If there's anything that you see in this video, by the way, that you like that I haven't linked in the description box, then just message me or leave a comment or something and I will find a link for you if I can. I'm terrible at saying, yes, I'll link this down below and then I forget to. So yeah, just let me know if I've missed something. Also, I'm gonna be popping quite a few bits on my Vinted account, so it's definitely worth checking that out. I always leave it linked in the description box of all my videos, so you'll be able to find it in this one and in every other video as well that you watch of mine. There's always new stuff going on, skincare, beauty, clothes, shoes, bags, a bit of everything. So if you see something that you like, there is a chance that I might be selling it on Vinted. I'm thinking actually about selling these New Balance 550s because I just don't wear them. Especially now that I have Sambas and I have my specials as well. I just don't ever reach for these. I don't think I wore them all summer. So I'm thinking I should probably pop these on my vintage as well. I mean, I have worn them a few times. They've got a few scuff marks and stuff on them. So I need to give them a bit of a wipe, but I feel like they should go to a loving home rather than sit in my wardrobe and collect dust. So these are the autumn winter shoes that I packed away. I've kind of forgotten most of them. Oh my God, these heels. I got these heels a couple of years ago. So freaking tall. And these would make me taller than my boyfriend. So I don't know really if I'm going to be wearing these anytime soon because I don't love to be taller than him. But I'll keep them anyway. They might be nice for like party wear, styling and stuff. I got them from Pretty Little Thing. But yeah, they are mahoosive. They can go up that side with heels. These boots I think I'm going to pop on my vintage because I didn't wear them last year and I already have quite a few pairs of knee-high boots and these are like over the knee boots and I'm not sure that they're really my style anymore so I think these will be on my vintage these boots I keep every year they're a gorgeous pair of leather just kind of flat Chelsea boots these are from Bash and I love them these boots I think from Topshop <clears throat> excuse me I got them a couple of years ago 
I think I'll pop them on Vinted because I don't wear them. I don't remember wearing them last year. These ones I always keep though. These are from Zara and they're like a patent kind of Western style boot and I always get questions on them whenever I wear them, but I can never find anything similar. I'm definitely gonna keep these. They are very worn and very loved, but they're so handy to have. These ones, ah oh yes, these are the chunky boots that I got last year from Zara. They're a very chunky oversized boot and yeah, I love these. So obviously be keeping these and popping these in the wardrobe. Again, a giant dust bag from Zara. Also have these brown boots, which I don't wear much, but I do keep them every year because they're the only pair of brown boots that I have. Got these from Zara a few years ago. Really nice, chunky, comfy heel, and I just feel like they will be handy at some point. I'm sure there'll be a couple of outfits where I won't want to wear black boots, so it's always nice to have these just in case. So I'm going to pack away the summer shoes that I don't need out anymore and find a place for all of these. So everything is just about squeezed in. I didn't have that many summer shoes that I wanted to take out because a lot of the sandals that I have are designer and I keep them in the box over here anyway. But we fitted in all the boots, all the knee high boots this end, a couple of pairs of ankle boots, my trainers and heels and some heel boots over this side as well. So it's looking good. I'll just have to cross that bridge of where to put the new shoes when I actually buy some. I have my Uggs in the box as well because I find they get a bit battered in the wardrobe. So I keep them in the boxes behind the bed. Also doing something that I haven't done before and I'm gonna pack away a couple of my basket bags. So I've popped my, yes, hello. Hello, darling. I've popped my Loewe basket bag and Marnie basket bag in with the shoes in this box because I just, I'm not gonna wear them. I know I'm not gonna need them over the winter and they're taking up space in the little bag cubby hole. So they're gonna be packed away. I'm gonna squeeze a few items of clothing in this box as well. And then it's time to open these and unpack what is in there, hang it up, put it in the correct piles and then move everything back into the wardrobe. And then I'll quickly go through the denim drawer and this chest of drawers that's, that's full of loungewear. So that's all the boxes unpacked. I've popped all my summer stuff in this one vacuum bag. So that's gonna fit in there so easily. The box over there with shoes and a few clothes in it. I'm thinking I may actually pack away like my Hermes shoes as well. Just put them in this box and put them away just to save space. I'll see what else I could fit in this box because that box fits nicely into the loft space. So I wanna kind of utilize it and free up as much space as possible. Look at the mountain of coats. This is crazy. I have obviously unpacked the coats and as you can see, they are quite creased. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hang them up as they are because most of them, I remember from last year anyway, are really good quality and because they're heavy, thick coats, the creases do just drop out once they're hung up. So I'm gonna do that and hopefully they will. If not, I'll just run over them with the steamer whenever I wanna wear them and they should be absolutely fine. So I'm gonna start packing everything away, putting it in the wardrobe, and then I should be able to see my bed again. So everything is now packed away in the wardrobe and these are the bits that are going on my vinted so far. So I'm gonna take them downstairs, pop them in the vinted pile in a bit and I'll get my mum I think to upload them for me because she helps me out with the vinted for a cut of the price. So these are some more summery bits that need to be packed away. Obviously you need to vacuum this bag and then I forgot about my Anita Bing Beach bag which I won't be needing. I'm gonna have some lunch in a minute but when I come back I'm gonna pop these bits in this drawer. Excuse the wires by the way I'm charging my phone and my laptop and then I'll go through this chest of drawers as well. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch and I thought I would show you guys what I'm gonna make because because it's literally one of my favorite things to make and it's quite a healthy lunch. I've got a wrap. This is just a plain tortilla wrap. I'm just popping it on a baking tray. There's a little bit of this like tomato passata which you use on like a normal pizza base but instead of using a normal pizza base I am using a tortilla wrap 
And I'm essentially just gonna make like a really thin crispy pizza. So I've popped a little bit of, I'll show you it when it's done by the way. I've popped a little bit of tomato sauce on it. And then I have some mozzarella, which I'm obviously gonna slice up, put on the pizza. And then I have some red pepper and some cooked chicken as well, which I'll just pop on the top. And then you literally put it in the oven for like five minutes, sometimes less. And it makes a really nice, like thin, crispy pizza. It's so tasty and it's so yummy and very low in calories. And it's just the easiest lunch to do. So I do it so often. I've also done it on like pita breads before as well, which is really nice if you want something a bit thicker, if you don't like things as thin and crispy. Or sometimes I'll do like two mini wraps instead of one big one, but I only have the big ones today. So this is what it looks like, chicken, mozzarella, and some red pepper. Obviously you can put whatever you like on here. Sometimes I do like cheddar cheese and red onion as well, which is a really nice combo, but thought I'd go for chicken and red pepper today. And I'm just gonna pop this in the oven for literally, like I said, maybe like five, 10 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. So here is the finished lunch. A little bit crispy around the edges, but that's okay. We can work with that, but it looks so yummy. And it is so yummy, I'm about to eat it. I've got an ice cold Diet Coke as well. And I'm watching Love is Blind as well on my laptop while I eat it. <laughs> So lunch break is over. I hope I haven't got food around my mouth. I feel very full up now, but I've got the last little bits to finish off. I have here some like long sleeved turtleneck jumpers that I'm gonna put in this drawer. When I showed it in the beginning, it has lots of space. So I should be able to fit these and those ones up there in the drawer, get it done. And then I'm gonna organize the denim drawer, which is underneath it because that needs a bit of a tidy up. So this chest of drawers is organized with a little bit of space as well. So we have some tops here, all from Pretty Lavish, like thin kind of knitwear tops. Anita Bing jumpers and hoodies here. And then loungewear trousers and joggers that like don't belong to a set. Also have a little bit of space here. Have my charger for my mouse that I just keep in the drawer below so it's easy to grab. And then in here we have jumpers and hoodies that don't belong to a set and then I have two grey sets that I popped in here as well and then in here three jogger sets with a little bit of room at the side so I can buy some more so this is my little vintage pile not so little all this stuff on the hangers on the rail is already on there and then this is the pile of stuff to go on it will be up i reckon by the time this video goes up a few pairs of shoes and there's also sort of like skincare and beauty stuff in there which is all on there so like i said it will be linked down below and you guys can check that out if you do want to shop anything so that is it summer stuff all packed away also put a few more summer bits in this box over here so it's all ready to go back into the loft i thought i'd just show you my wardrobe to finish off the video so as you can see lots of spare hangers now which is great we started off with like waistcoat thin tops shirts dresses knitwear trousers and skirts again in the middle here shoes are also looking so much better down the bottom and then in this side it's the same order again jackets and then coats a little bit squished i mean it's not ideal but it's fine i need to probably replace these two hangers as well i think with black ones and i need some slightly thicker ones for some of my coats because they're on these like flimsy ones and they just snap so ideally they need to all be on like the wooden ones so i need to order some more of them from amazon everything is ordered everything is in the wardrobe so that is great news and then here we have jeans drawer it's a little bit kind of like jenga at the moment because i've just put jeans on top of the other and I've just rolled them so they're easy for me to just grab rather than having like a pile of folded things but they are much easier to see now and then I've also done the top drawer as well which is kind of looking a bit more full now because I had a few long sleeved ones that I needed to pop in so that's all done so is that and then you would have just seen that this was the final piece of the puzzle the loungewear chest of drawers 
so that is my wardrobe switch over complete i just need to pop these boxes away and then we are all done and i feel so much relief just fell off my olive tree um yeah i feel so much better i feel so much more organized and i've got a little bit of space not so much in my wardrobe but in my drawers in case i'm buying anything new i really do try a one in one out rule because i'm just so lacking on space that it's really hard especially with autumn winter pieces like knitwear and coats that are thicker and heavier and take up more room it's so difficult to fit everything in i know i have an abnormally large amount of clothes but it's just because of the nature of this job i have definitely concised my wardrobe over the years and it's much more of a capsule wardrobe now as opposed to a very trend-led wardrobe and hopefully you guys can see that there are lots of classic pieces in there there are still a lot of clothes i definitely don't need all of them but i feel like i've concised it down nicely i've got rid of a lot of things that i don't wear and they will either be going to charity or will be going on my vintage i didn't clear out as much as i normally do when i do these videos because normally i leave it until i film one of these to do one massive clear out Whereas I've kind of been doing it as I've gone along so that my vintage is updated more frequently. So there wasn't actually a huge amount to go through. I kind of already knew in my head what I had in my wardrobe. So there wasn't like any big surprises of things that I've forgotten about that I haven't worn in months. But anyway, I will leave as many things linked down below as I can. I'll pop links to the vacuum bags and clear plastic boxes if I can find some similar ones. I think I just got mine from Tesco, but they are so handy, like especially if you live in an old house and things collect dust and when i get them out again next year the most i'm gonna have to deal with is you know a little bit of creasing rather than being like covered in dust or eaten by moths or anything like that so that is everything all done i really hope you enjoyed this vlog from today if you did it would be amazing if you could give this video a like if you're new to my channel i would absolutely love it if you subscribed and i will see you all very very soon with another video bye